Hello everyone. So recently I have upgraded my PC to Windows 11 and I had to reinstall the Visual Studio IDE on this PC. Then when I was trying to create a console project, actually I was facing this issue that you can see on my screen. One or more errors were encountered while creating project console app 4. The generated project content may be incomplete. The SDK, Microsoft.NET SDK specified could not be found. Actually, this is the root cause of the issue. And to fix this issue, you have to edit the system environment variables. To edit them, you can simply click on search here. Then search for env. And uh, you will see this menu actually that you can click, edit the system environment variables. You click on it. Then you have to click on environment variables. And here you will see there is this variable called path. So if you click on path, you will see here these values. The C program file 686.net. So this is the cause of the issue. In my case, I have downloaded previously the x64 SDK version for the .NET. I didn't download it the x86. And in my case here, again, the x86 is having precedence over the .NET x64. So to fix the issue, simply what you have to do is to move up this value above. Of course, if you have installed the x86 version and you have the reverse situation, let's say you have the .NET that is uh, having precedence over this one, we can just reverse them and it will work. So now if I will let it like this, click on OK, click on OK here. So I just uh, restarted my Visual Studio and uh, the thing that we have to do right now is to recreate a new project. So we can confirm that the issue has been fixed. So I'm taking just the console up project again. And now let's try to create it. And now it's working. You can click on execute and build the program here and that's it. You can see the whole world. So our issue is fixed. I hope it was informative for you and uh, if it was the case, please like this video and subscribe. It will really help the channel to grow up as it's just started and I will really appreciate that. Thank you very much.